Welcome, 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 welcome to Eugene Real Talk TV. Where we keep it real. Ain't nothing fake around here. We tell you how it is. If you don't like it, you can always leave. And don't even come back. Because we ain't doing this for views or clicks and, and shit like that. We just doing this to express ourselves. To ourselves. If anybody else see it, it's so be it. <laughs> shit. But thanks y'all for support. Thanks y'all for some of y'all, all of you, for the kind just man and some of you with your with the remarks you make don't make no sense. But thank you anyway for letting me know how you feel and what's your opinion. But Let's talk about this situation that, is, that went on. Because it's not going on no more with the two individuals. But it's other people into the situation, like talking about the situation, like it's something big and stuff like that. Let's talk about the Sister T and Kwame Brown, it's not a situation. The Sister T and Kwame Brown misunderstanding. Sister T and Kwame Brown misunderstanding. Let's talk about that. I'm not even going to pull other people into this before, like all the negative people into this before I be disrespectful. God, try not to be disrespectful to, in this video, not to Sister T, not to Kwame Brown, not to not to Queen Regina, not to Casino, no, not even to Gilbert. It's like, I, I have, I, like, I can say some stuff about Gilbert, Gilbert, but I'm not even going to be disrespectful to Gilbert in this video. I'm trying to keep this video clean as possible because it's what, it's what we see. It's not what I know, it's what I see. You see, Kwame Brown know Gilbert like how Gabriel acts and how Gabriel do things. We know Gabriel from the way he talks and the way he moves and stuff like that. But we don't really know Gabriel. We ain't rather been around Gabriel like that. And Kwame Brown been around Gabriel. So he kind of know Gabriel better than us. But the way Gabriel move, I think everybody kind of know Gabriel better. <laughs> <laughs> the way Gabriel move, man, I think everybody kind of know Gabriel better. But this situation with with that in with the interview that Sister T had up, she, I think she took the interview down and stuff like that. Which I think Sister T, I think you should have left that interview up. Although people may say, "Oh, you did this, it make you look bad," no. I think you should have left that interview up because without the original interview being up, it's all clicks and narratives of the original video lines out there. So, I, in my opinion, I think she should have left the interview up. She should have left the respond, even the respond up because she took the respond down too. Like her response to Kwame Brown and stuff like that, which were respectful. Like it was respectful. It wasn't no disrespect in it. It was two. It is like it was two family members talking to one another, just how they're supposed to, with no disrespect. You say what you want to say, and, and and be like that, and <laughs> that's how everybody should have a conversation. Everybody, that's how you should have a conversation. If you, if you feel like somebody wrong you and you feel like y'all need to talk about something, and if y'all gonna do it out, out in the public, you do it with respect, because you respect this person out of the public. You respect this person when when the, when one thousand two thousand fish is not on you. You so should keep that same respect for the person. That's how I look at it. So, 
let's talk about the interview the interview i watched the whole thing i watched the whole thing like a couple of times just cup i watched it like a couple of times just to see what's going on and stuff like that in the interview you can see sister t and and sister t and queen regina the beautiful queen regina was up there they was doing the thing you know like they always do they was doing the thing like they always do and and sister t wanted gabriel to come up there so she can talk to gabriel she wanted gabriel to come up there so she can talk to gabriel and the main thing she wanted to talk to gabriel about is the situation that that incur up with his fiance with a fiance and she wanted to know did Gabriel put his hands on his fiance did Gabriel do this did Gabriel do that and she wanted to know that so she wanted Gabriel to come on the channel and and talk about this mind you Gabriel not come on this channel like couple of I mean Gabriel haven't come on this channel she not invite Gabriel to come on this channel so they can talk like if and whenever they have problem that's one thing sister t does whenever she got problem with you she invite you on the on her panel for you to talk so gabriel like in in the midst of the talking and stuff you know they were reaching out to gabriel trying to reach out to gabriel gabriel and, and gabriel you know answer or something that came online so how he's online Kwame King, you know, Kwame C. Oh, yeah, okay, Gabriel up there. Let me come up there. Which is nothing wrong with it. He and Gabriel not be on so many panels together. But, but this was somebody that Kwame Bryant is close to. This is their, this is their panel. So he, he way more comfortable coming on this panel. And, and he know he going to get the most almost respect on this panel. He know he gonna all he gonna get the almost respect on this panel because this is Sister T panel, this is his anti panel, this is just anybody panel. You see, y'all is y'all call the internet anti. I don't care about no internet. Y'all want me to say internet anti? You can kick rock. You know what the fuck I'm talking about. This is his anti panel. So, and when he came on the panel, you know, the moment Gabriel see him. Gabriel High, Gabriel High, what's it called? Gabriel kind of didn't want that Kwame Brown on the panel. And this is, this is where, this is where I kind of, I kind of not want to say bad about Gabriel. I don't want to say bad about Gabriel because if I got, let's just put it in anybody's shoes. If I got problem with with somebody we may say oh gabriel don't have problem with kwame brown gabriel don't know we just don't know that situation kwame may think gabriel don't have problem gabriel got a real problem with kwame brown we just don't know so like we just don't know the problem but that dude ain't no way you can be on another man like that 24 7 and you tell me you don't have problem with him that is something you got against that man and you ain't telling him there is something. If we all get to know that something and he finally get to tell Kwame that something, it wouldn't be no bothering with Kwame no more. It wouldn't be no bothering with Kwame no more. But we haven't we haven't get to what is that something. Maybe we get in there. Maybe from this panel we probably got there a little bit, but we gotta get what is this mean something that he's that he got against Kwame so bad we got to but we don't know so we can just sit there and say oh they just trolling and just trolling no it's not just trolling with some of the stuff that coming off people mouths and uh, coming out his mouth and stuff that is not trolling war so we can't keep saying oh gabriel just trolling kwame gabriel just trolling kwame no it's not but on that panel when Gabriel said, 
I don't want Kwame on this panel. You should get him off. Because I would say some I don't want to say some stuff to him that would affect I mean that would be disrespectful to a morning person. We don't know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody knows because I don't follow people's life stuff until you put it out there. So I don't know if Kwame there is there. Rest in peace to him. My condolences to you, Kwame. I don't know if Kwame Dad is there. So when he says stuff like that, it's like you take it both ways. Either he trying to be a gentleman by saying that and not wanting to argue with Kwame before he says something wrong to Kwame today that would piss him off. Maybe he's chosen today is not the day to to beef with Kwame because he already knows the situation that is going on with Kwame. Or maybe he was just trying to say something that would go on the Kwame skin. We just don't know. But as a human being, as a person with common sense, either way you look at it, he had all right to say what he said. He had all right to say what he said because he's the guest, he's the main guest on the panel his name is in the title telling him he need to come up hit the link and so they can talk and he's up there he hit the link so they can talk but it's like okay y'all take this for example will you have a panel will you have a panel with skinny i mean with with kwame that you talking to kwame and skinny come up there and and trip and and Kwame C skinny. You want it because Kwame will be all of that panel quick as hell. Not not he afraid of skinny. No, he ain't afraid of skinny. He just don't want to be in that environment with skinny. He just don't want to be. And we all miss. We all everybody. I I never skipped that, but everybody skipped the fact that this stuff happened before on this channel. On this channel, on that on a similar panel, when another dude and Kwame Brown was going back and forth on on Sister T panel, and Kwame Brown after the argument, all that stuff, Kwame Brown told Sister T, please do not invite me on none of these panels no more and stuff like that. So we understand from that from that she respected Kwame, so y'all can understand that. T.Y. and I get on that channel. A bunch of other dudes and I get on that channel. She never invited Kwame once. She never put Kwame's up once to come on that channel. So when Gilbert up there this time, Kwame and Kwame is like, okay, that's my auntie channel. I can come up here and listen to which is he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Trust me. He's not wrong. But He's not wrong, but the moment, the moment, the other person say, I don't want he up here, it shouldn't be no argument. That's why I, I tell, I think Kwame should have just left the panel at that moment. When, when he said, I don't want him up here, this, 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 and I don't want to say something, he grieving, all that stuff. Kwame should have just left the panel at that moment. And everybody, everybody don't know what was going on. Sister T showing Kwame in the almost respect. It's not no disrespect by her telling say Kwame, I'm gonna meet you, I'm gonna put you off, I'm gonna knock you off. Because if you just hear somebody telling you, hey, he just lost his dad, and I I'm gonna say some stuff to him that gonna that gonna get him mad and all that stuff. What what would you do? Anybody, common sense. Common sense. What would you do? Wouldn't you talk to the person who you know better? Or will you go talk to the other person you really don't know better? She talked to Kwame Brown who she know better. Hey Kwame, I'm going to just meet you. I'm going to just knock you off. Let me just have this conversation with him real quick. There is nothing wrong with that. People look at that. It's like, oh, it's wrong. It's wrong. No, this conversation wasn't about Kwame and 
in Gilbert, this conversation was about what did did Gilbert put his hands on his wife, on his ex fiance? Did Gilbert do this to his ex fiance? Did Gilbert do that to his ex fiance? So at the beginning of the interview, it was all taxi. Because when Gabriel said that, Kwame like, I ain't, man, I ain't grieving. What the heck? Like, he, he responded and dancing, like chilling. But we got to understand, too, Kwame don't like that. Kwame don't like that. I, I'm the one person I keep, I, I don't know about anybody else, but I keep my shit fair. I respect Kwame to my, whatever he does. I respect Kwame. I respect, and as, I ain't respecting no damn skinny. I ain't respecting no no Gilbert. I don't respect his shit. <laughs> I don't respect you. You said some shit about African women and shit like that. I don't respect you, man. I'm African. Shit, you ain't take that shit back yet. I ain't respecting you, my nigga. Look at me. I'm cursing it. Oh, no. Hey, that ain't no curse. That's what we are anyway. But I don't like to say that. If I say that, I don't be saying it in a good way. <laughs> Bro, let me get back to my stuff. But... When Gabriel said that, if it was if it was me in that situation, I leave. I wouldn't even be on the panel. I wouldn't be on that panel. But Kwame stayed on the panel. Both of them started going back and forth, back and forth. But you know, you would notice in the video when she would try to say something, but when they're talking, she just sit back and just look in the chat. That's an old school ways of doing things. When two men sitting there arguing, you don't get involved. A woman don't get involved into it. So she always sit back and just pay attention to her chat. But when the silence goes on, when everybody stops for a minute, then she try to talk. But it don't really. Everybody just talking over one another. That's what was really going on. at the beginning. Everybody was just talking over one another. So you couldn't really get an understanding of anything. Like she couldn't catch people saying, "Oh, why she didn't catch the threats and all that stuff." She, bro, her mind was messed up. This ain't where it's supposed to be. She trying to show Kwame respect. And trying to show Gilbert respect. Because you I don't care how much you don't like the person. If a person come on your panel and you invite them on the panel, even if you don't like them, you invite the person on your panel, you have to show that person respect. If they haven't disrespect you yet on your panel, you have to show that person respect. And she had to do it. People are like, oh, she's right. It's not no side to pick when two men are arguing. You just sit back if you're a lady. She even said a couple of times, I don't want y'all talking over one another. But she couldn't control the situation. She couldn't control the situation. Is that bad? Is that her fault? Yes, that's her fault. Because I think Sister T, Sister T, her voice, her voice is powerful and strong enough for her to control a situation like that. Although it would be the old school way, but no, you can still, she can still control that situation. But Sister T did it so many times. Like she just let the man then talk, let the man and be mad. So I can't be mad at her for not interacting, getting involved into an argument that was going on. When she always just let the men be men. That's how Kwame got mad the first time she was on the panel. Because the other dude was on the panel with Kwame. And he was just reckless. He was just saying whatever he want to say. He was just being disrespectful to Kwame. Talking to what Kwame doing. All kind of shit. Both of them started doing the same thing. See Kwame. He, he, don't, he, 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 was, he was let you do stuff. Let you do stuff. Let you do stuff. Then when he can't take it no more. He lied child on you. Then he, he he's like, okay, this is a fair game. I'm gonna go. No, you ain't just gonna be doing it. Me, I'm different. You not gonna even start with me. Uh uh. We cut in. We gonna knock that shit in the butt real quick before you even start with me. But Kwame is a different type of human being. He he like to like, watch you fucked up so bad and you can't get yourself out of that situation. 
We should as people then I got brothers I got a brother that like that. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you fucked up so bad, he gonna make you fucked up so bad that you can't get yourself out of the situation where he, you fucking over him. Then that's when he jump on your ass. <laughs> It'd be reckless when he jump on your ass. It'd be reckless. But that this shit ha it happened like that on the panel. So when people are like, oh, she missed the threat, she did that, she did that, and Kwame point out some stuff that oh, even Casino was getting protected in the chat. Everybody was getting protected in the chat. She even maybe Kwame was just posting. I mean focusing on Gilbert disrespecting him but it was a couple of times she pulled up she pulled up messages with people then talking shit about Kwame and she would say do not put this shit in my trap no more or else you other oh, yeah there was some dude talking about or uh, dropping Addy or some shit like that or uh, something he was saying and she told him straight up and another dude talking about casino she told him straight up that like, she always do that that's why I be thinking sometimes like they, they pay, some of uh, some of y'all be paying attention to your chat too much. It's like y'all be paying attention to the chat too much, and it's so many trolls, so many trolls. Especially the situation y'all be talking about and stuff. It gonna be so many trolls in the chat. So paying attention to the chat just gonna knock you off sometime. It gonna knock you off your square sometime. So you got you got two people added going at it on the channel. They saying stuff for the one another. One person just saying stuff and Kwame talking, give her to interest and all that stuff. Then he he like insulting the families and all that stuff. It going on. If you read it, it's like you can go back. You can go back. Only thing she took the real view down. But you can go back. If it was there, I would tell you y'all go back and watch the video. You will watch the video with just you will you gotta rather listen and start catching it and start catching it, catching it, catching it, catching it. Like but people are sitting there and saying sister T ten against Kwame. And I wanna like, I was like, how? How? How did she turn against Kwame? Because she wanted to take, kick Kwame off the panel? That ain't turning against him. Why do we... Why do we think... If you mess with somebody so much... You cannot choose for yourself... On what you want. Like I said, I love Kwame, but this is not Kwame Pena. That wasn't Kwame Pena. She pulls, you could see on the, on the, her timeline, everything you could see. She wanted to talk to Gibra about a whole different situation. Not about Kwame, about a whole different situation. Not about Kwame. So we seen that, that she wanted to talk about a whole different situation, not about Kwame and how the situation went. But in the, in the midst of it, when he talking about, oh, what you do, 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 he, he screaming, telling her, oh, what you want to do? And doing this, doing that, and Kwame too, talking to and stuff. So she like, Gabriel, what you want me to do? A question. He want you to kick him off the panel. She didn't kick Kwame off. I'm gonna just mute him, so we can talk. But I'm not gonna. She ain't kicking off. She just mute him so they can talk. But Kwame already mute himself. That's a mistake too. Kwame already mute himself. That's why I say her, she couldn't focus on what was going on. She couldn't focus on what was going on because she want to be so. She want to be fair enough. To both party, to both party, but she also want Gilbert to answer this question that she got for Gilbert. Gilbert's on this panel. She been trying to get Gilbert on the panel forever. He never come on this panel. He finally on this panel. 
Now I get to ask him this question. But it's the same situation when Gilbert and Kwame on the panel together. It was the same situation. Anybody can, anybody, anybody, you can go back and watch Kwame and Gilbert on panel together. The only panel Kwame and Gilbert was on and it was kind of respectful when they had the, one of the old players on there. Or somebody both of them respect was on there. Then they was able to talk. But they were still talking as a man anyway. But they all three were able to talk as a man. Do was able to jump in and stop stuff. Then, hey, hey, no, no, no. See, he was able to control stuff like that. Sister T cannot control stuff like that. Yes, she can, but she she got old school ways in her that when men's doing stuff, you stay away. When men talking and stuff, you don't get involved into the talk. You stay away. So when she trying to milk Kwame, it's to get Gilbert to get back on the story. Not to be disrespectful to Kwame. When she telling Kwame, say, hey, let me just knock you off. It's not to be disrespectful to Kwame. It's to get Gabriel to get back on the story of what he was talking about, of what they dared to talk about. And wish they, wish they went through, they went to talk about the story. And when you see, we see that when Gabriel got to talk, talk, he talked too damn much. When Gabriel got to talk, talk, he talked too damn much. So if Gabriel was able to talk from the beginning on, and just being comfortable, we could have knew a whole lot of stuff. Just by Gabriel talking. Because when Gabriel, when Gabriel started talking, talking about his wife, we hear that he's saying it wasn't no threat. He burned the house down, all kind of shit. This nigga was like, look, hold on, you can't be saying that type of shit. Like, damn, nigga, you get that. Hold on, you saying some shit and then how you had this house and all that shit, but it wasn't in your name because your what you were just high. Like, no, you saying some shit and you you he's like, I don't know if they can go back on that shit and get him for that, but he was saying some shit. Which is that's what she wanted. That's what she wanted. You always gotta look at pictures different. Don't look at pictures for one person. Saying, oh, because she because she messed with Kwame, why would she even be talking to Gabriel? What the fuck y'all mean? What the fuck y'all mean? Gabriel can sit there and test Kwame 24-7. Why Kwame don't block Gabriel's number? Gabriel can, sit, Gabriel can sit there and talk to Casino. And he don't even mess with Casino be on his ass every time. So why can't she? Not because I'm talking to you, y'all don't know what they're talking about. You just hear, oh, she talked to Gilbert. And people then jump to the conclusion like, oh, she working with Gilbert now. Oh, Gilbert got her now and all that stuff. And she said it in the interview. When everything got, when everything got clear and everything got okay, thanks to Casino for coming on the panel too. Because when he came on the panel, I think everything kind of died down a little bit. Everything kind of died down a little bit. And my thing, one of my things to Kwame is, Kwame need to learn how to, learn how to control his reaction. Kwame need to learn how to control his reaction. Kwame, Kwame get mad Kwame get mad when when Gabriel get under his skin. Yes, Gabriel Gabriel is good at doing that shit. I I already said that stuff. Like he can say some stuff. It's just the way he be saying it to get under your skin. So he good at doing that stuff. But when Kwame get time to ask his question, sometimes anybody fair. Let's be fair. When Kwame get time to ask his question, sometimes he don't just ask his question. He be poking at you. He be throwing shots at you. Telling you how dumb you is and all that stuff and like that. That is not a question. Me and you cannot have a, 
or, or interaction like that. I don't care if you mad at me or not. And I say, don't talk to me or not. And you finally get time to talk to me. You can be talking to me like, and still throwing shot at me. Ask me your question. That's it. And don't throw shot. Because if you throw shot, the question out of the window. That's what people don't get. Kwame will ask this question, but he throws shots in the question. And when you do that, they will pick up that right away. The question out of the window. He just going to take the shots. And, and he don't care. He going to go at it. But when Kwame had, when, when Casino got on that panel, Kwame was able to ask questions because he would just ask his question now and he would just ask a question and let it be. He would ask his question and let it be. Then Giro able to answer the question. So we start seeing the difference. We start seeing Giro and Kwame talking. We start, we, literally, people, you can watch the interview. The interview, all this argument was be, beginning of the interview. It was beginning of when Kwame and Gabriel was on this stuff. It wasn't like at the end. No, at the end, it was smooth. At the end, everybody was asking Gabriel question. Even Gabriel and, and Kwame had to, they talk about some stuff. And Gabriel told Kwame, yeah, how Kwame was right. And he would take this one on the cheat. And Kwame told him, I told you this shit wasn't going to work. They, 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 was having a, they, were having a, they were having an interaction. But... People got to understand she wasn't picking Gabriel's side on anything. She just wanted Gabriel to talk. She wanted to have this conversation with Gabriel. She had a conversation with Kwame every freaking time. She can have a conversation with Kwame any day. She can't have a conversation with Gabriel any day. I finally got this dude. Let me ask him these questions. Then y'all can come on everybody asking these questions. And that's what happened. We get to know so many things that Gabriel ain't had no business talking about. We get to know about the fucking, the, the, the all smoke podcast and all that stuff. We get to know about, I'm a Becky with a goo hair and, <laughs> hey right, man, Mac, my bad, yo. I, that's the, I was thinking about your name, but that nigga not call you back. You with the, man, Kwame Brown not call you back. You with a goo hair so damn much, man. That shit, I mean, it made me forget about your name. It's in shit. I just, the, the first thing that came to my head was back. You with a goo hair. My bad, bro. I shouldn't have been disrespectful. My bad. But, all that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I should have done that. <laughs> I should have still be thinking about your name. My bad, my bad, brother. But all of that, we get to know all of that. Everybody had to ask the question. But y'all gotta understand, Sister T. Even Kwame Brown told her the same thing on the panel. He said, "I think you. I, it's like you choose. You giving him favorites and stuff." She said, "No." I ain't giving him no ferritism. So he said that she called it on screen. No, no, hell no. I just want him to talk. I just want him to talk. It's not no ferritism. She said it on the stuff. So it's like, ain't nothing for nobody to look at her funny. Because she looking at it like, I don't want people then saying, oh, you got Gilbert come on your panel. You've been trying to get Gilbert come on your panel. And finally, you get Gilbert come on your panel and all of you just sit there and jump in. No, she don't want that. No. Not every, not because you mess with somebody so much, you shouldn't do stuff the way you want to do it. Kwame do stuff the way he want to do it. The way Kwame want to do stuff, he do it the way he want to do it. Nobody can control Kwame. Nobody should control Kwame. Kwame shouldn't make nobody control him. Kwame had all right for saying and talking about what he talked about, how he felt like. Because you know why? He was in that situation. He's the one that he's the one that Gilbert was talking to like that. He's the one that 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 Gilbert was threatening and stuff. And most people just flew all of and most people just flew all of the, the the stuff about listening to Kwame talk about talk about the situation and how he feel about sister how he felt sister T was doing. I mean 
treating the situation and it look at it like oh Kwame Brown talking bad about Sister T Kwame Brown is doing this to Sister T Kwame Brown is doing that to Sister T no y'all got everything messed up if I don't like you I don't mess with you I wouldn't even be I wouldn't even give a damn what you did but Kwame Brown respects Sister T he messed with Sister T he, they anti stuff. They be saying, yeah, he take that shit for real. So when when he felt when he felt the way he felt, it hurt. It hurt. You know how many how many of these more, how many of these other brothers that 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 Mister that 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 Gilbert have gone behind Kwame Brown back and go talk to him and all that stuff and don't bother Kwame Brown. How many brothers that Gilbert go on their channel? And and stuff like that, do stuff, don't bother Kwame Brown. How many brothers that Gabriel do this, do that, don't bother Kwame Brown? That's when y'all should know what's what's respect and what's not respect. That's respect. That you did that you did that, it bothered me. Like she said, like I said, two days later, that's how you know it still bothered him. Because that's his auntie. That's his internet auntie. Closer to his his regular auntie. That's someone who's always had his back on this internet. That's somebody who always been in beef. And <laughs> not even saying nothing to him about not even saying nothing. Sometimes in the beef. It just because she messed with Kwame. And he messed with her. She's in it anyway. So when stuff like that happen between you and person like that, it hurt. Yes, you said what you want to say, but he said it with, with respect, not like some of you. He said it with respect. Some of you was in the chat trying to act like, trying to say this, say that, and he was still telling you, I ain't disrespecting Sister T. I am not disrespecting Sister T. I just telling you how I feel. If a man mess with you, as a woman, if a man mess with you, and you he feel like you do something wrong to him, yeah, he gonna tell you how he feel. A man, as a man, and you do something to another man, that with pissing off, some of us we just say, hey, let's just run it once. We run it when we go, but you can't run it one with her. You can't do this with her. You just tell her how you feel. And it be on. Still love. So most of y'all want to pull a hit between both of them. For what? Most of y'all, most of y'all that mess with both of them, y'all just be waiting for somebody, for somebody to as soon as somebody that says, Oh, she's the new snake. How you know? Did he call her a snake? When are you wasn't you there for the interview? Did somebody have to come up and say she's a snake for you to say she's a snake? That's why I said most of you just watch stuff, but don't really listen. Most of you go there and just pay attention to the, the damn chat, but don't even pay attention to the shit that is game being played in front of you. I seen it all that day. I understand it all. And and I ain't wanna put this in there, but I have to. I didn't want to put this in there, but I have to. Kwame, you may not, you don't even know me. You don't probably don't, you don't watch me. You don't even need to. But my thing is, on that video, the last video you did, I mean, not the last video, the video you did from with Sister T when you were explaining the whole situation. You have all right doing that video, but you used the wrong video. You have all right doing that video, but you used the wrong video. And people say, what do you mean by what he used the wrong video? Then the video wasn't the right video to use. 
you may think other ways. You may think that no, nah, that ain't right. I can. What you mean by that? Then the no, then the video wasn't a video to point out the whole situation that is going on. Then the video is a video that is pointing out one side of the situation. He's pointing out the stuff that was going on when Sister T was talking. Hey, can I? I mean, she want to take you off and all that stuff, but. He in ready pointing out the conversation you and Sister T had on the panel, where she telling you what she was telling you. I just wanted him to talk. When you asked her, "Hey, you showing sure favoritism?" and he like, no. she like, "No, I just wanted him to talk." I mean, you know, I want to show no favoritism. She even said it in front of him. Like you know, when I'm 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 Sister T, I'm always gonna be Sister T. There ain't nothing nobody nobody don't know. She always say that stuff. She her own person, but when it's time to pick and choose, she always picking Kwame. She said it right there on the channel, right in front of Gil. People say she didn't disrespect Gil. She ain't called Gil a bitch ass nigga one time. Fair use, you two. I'm just saying what they say. She said they saying she ain't called Gil that one time. Did y'all hear the music? She played a disrespectful music right there when Gilbert Arena was on her channel. It premiered a disrespectful music right there with the dude in it calling him a bitch ass nigga. And you're saying she ain't disrespect the man. How can you not, how can you not look at that as a disrespect? That's a full bone bro disrespect. Like you brought me on your channel to listen to. <laughs> That's how I was sitting where he, she played that song. I was like, oh, she did Gilbert wrong as <laughs> hell. Because she like, you want to make that? You want to make that cartoon video? Okay, nigga. Okay, get this. <laughs> and people sitting there and say she in disrespect Gilbert. That's why I say stop. Nobody should have watched. Nobody should have pay attention to 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 what's the name Dandy video. Dandy video is not a video to show. It's not a reaction video. Let's just say it like that. Dandy video is not a reaction video. It's a video that he was like doing to be like to make fun of the Sister T on his page so he and his audience can get something to talk about. It's a video that he had that he was making for his audience to say, oh, she on the other side now. She taking money from this person. She talking to she talking to what's the name? She talking to Gabriel Arena when they all talk to Gabriel Arena. Why? Because you don't talk to Gabriel Arena. Kwame Brown talked to Gabriel Arena. He don't. I remember. I don't know if he don't like the nigga or not, but he still talk. He talk to the nigga. Casino still. Casino talk to the nigga. What's wrong with Sister T talking to him? Casino don't like him, but he still talk to Gabriel. So Sister T cannot like Gabriel and still can't talk to Gabriel too. Stop picking and choosing, people. Stop picking and choosing. Dandy video wasn't a video to watch and listen to on anything because then they sat there and played that shit like over and over and over and over again when she tried to tell tell Kwame Brown I mean tell Asin Gabriel what you want me to do she want to get Kwame off the page and all that stuff then they play that stuff over and over again I'm like no this dude playing just couple of scenes. For like 35, 45 minutes. What happened to the whole damn video? Like if you go listen to, if you watch the original video, Sister T took it down, but if you watch the original video, it's not like that. Both of them, both of them, Kwame Brown and, 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 and Gilbert Arena sat there and argued more than more than Sister T trying to control stuff. They argue more than she try to control stuff. But his thing was to point out Sister T, Sister T, Sister T. What Sister T did? What Sister T doing? What Sister T did? Oh, how she, how he feel like she's a snake because she take. That wasn't a video to react to. Kwame, that wasn't a video to react to because I was watching that video 
I was watching that video you were showing, I was like, damn, Sister T wrong. Damn, Sister T wrong. I know I already, I watched the shit live, but the video you were showing, I was like, damn, Sister T wrong as hell. Damn, Sister T wrong as hell. I was like, hold on, hold on. Eugene don't like, Eugene don't like for, for anybody to tell him who wrong or who not wrong. I got three phones. I opened two of my other phones. Put the, put the interview on one. And start listening to it. How you was live? I was listening to my I was listening to her live. I went straight to where where the interview was before before get, when Gilbert first came online and you come online. I pick up on right there and I watch the whole thing. All that stuff was happening from the beginning. After that, in the middle of the video when in the middle of the video and all that shit, yo, everybody jumped Gilbert. Sister T, Kwame Brown, Queen. I don't know. Gabriel got something against you, Queen, Queen Regina. Gabriel got something against you. And I know what, though. I know what he got against you. I know what he got against you, though. He mad that you helping Kwame Bryant and you bringing up the old videos that making them look bad. Kwame wouldn't be able to do that himself. Kwame wouldn't be able to do that. But he mad that you doing that and you making and Kwame he getting more he may getting views and stuff from that videos then to tell you the truth he getting views from their remake videos like crazy. He mad on that and he mad at you on that and he mad at you on that Queen Regina he mad at you on that. But he know the only reason he trying to get the sister T because he knows sister T doing her own thing. Sister T, she and Queen Regina, what are they? They're knocking head off. They're doing their thing. So he feel like, okay, I'm gonna get Sister T because I know I can get Queen Regina anywhere. I'm gonna try to get Sister T. You can't get Sister T either. <laughs> you can't get Sister T either. So my thing, to, my thing to Kwame is like, you shouldn't have paid attention to Dan D. Vida. Dan D. Vida wasn't for you. Then the video was for his audience that don't like Sister T, not for you. I know you may take it a different way because you a man, you are you are you are a gentleman. You think for yourself. Everybody do it. But sometimes we would just think we think the wrong way. Sometimes we think for ourselves. We think the wrong way. Sometimes not every time we right. Not every time I'm right. So I know. For a fact, that video wasn't a video for you to react to. Because if you, you, why you was playing that video, you was mad the whole time, Kwame. You was mad the whole time. You was mad. You was pissed the whole time. But if you was going to play the original video, where they ain't repeating it, they ain't keep playing the scene, they seeing stuff over and over and over and over and over and over and over. He wasn't going to be that mad. He was going to understand what Sister T was trying to do. Yes, you may say she was trying to get contents. Yeah, but not from you. Not from you and... Not from you and... What's in the arenas disrespecting one another. That's why she respected you to try to get you from there before he even start disrespecting you. Because he said what he was going to do. He he um, he literally said what he was gonna do from the beginning of the video. He was he ain't wanted to disrespect you, your people, and everybody like that. So he wanted you off the panel. That's why I say I understand that. Gabriel never Gabriel never ever 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 said stuff like that. He ain't never said stuff like that. Because that's when I knew Gabriel knew what time it was he knew you for real like it wasn't time that you want to be playing around and ain't the time he's supposed to be playing around with you but when you told him you was okay he felt like okay i can play around with him now i think that's all it was it just yeah y'all talk y'all talk about the situation and i love that I love how ain't nothing gonna come between both of y'all. Even if y'all don't mess with one another no more, let it just be y'all. We don't we shouldn't even get to know about shit. 
we shouldn't even get to know about shit because ain't, ain't nobody business. Motherfuckers ain't doing shit the heck up these days. They make they make fifty negative ass videos about everything. And then the I'm not even gonna say nothing bad about you in this video, bro. Cause you were doing your stuff for your for your views, for your contents. The same shit I always say. You do it for your views, you do it for your contents. But you wrong if you think you're going to make Sister T and Kwame Brown fall off. you wrong. You're wrong if you think you're going to make Sister T and Queen Regina fall off. You're wrong. You're wrong you, if you think you're going to make Sister and Queen Regina and Kwame Brown fall off. you wrong. Because that's all you trying to do. That's all you trying to do. Will you succeed? We don't know. We don't know. Will you succeed? We don't know. But I know one thing. If you do, this still going to be good. Every part is going to be good. But if they fall off with you, if Kwame fall off with you, will you be good? Or you gonna find another woman to fuck with? Because regardless of people then saying Sister T talk shit about you and all that stuff, Sister T having make a video about you for like two, two, two or two or three days now. But you make a video about her. And one thing, and before I before I leave it there, before I leave it there, one thing I think. One thing I think is wrong is, and this is this is for this is to Kwame. One thing I think is wrong is Kwame right. One thing I think is wrong is when you ask Sister T, when is this stuff gonna stop? I would love for you to do me a favor because I don't talk. To, I don't have no way to reach Dandy. You got a way to reach the Dandy. Can you have Dandy? Ask Dandy, can he not make a video about Sister T for two days or three days or four? Maybe 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 four days. Oh, just make it a week. That ain't gonna kill him. Just make it a week. And let's see what this situation goes. Let's see if this stuff stop. Because we know, honestly, we know Sister T is not the one you should be asking. When is this stuff going to stop? It takes one person to stop making video. And it will be it's D&D. I'm not picking size. I'm not picking size. It take one person to stop this stuff is Dandy. If Dandy stop and Sister T don't stop, then we got all then everybody got all right to say stuff to Sister T. Sister T, you need to stop this stuff. Sister T, you need to stop this. And Sister T, if he stop, you have to stop. Mama, Mama T, you have to stop. With all due respect, you had to put that music, you had to go make a remix of that music and take him out of it. You would have to. Or you would just have to not play the music. That with respect, with all due respect, because I want, I think a lot of people want this stuff to stop. And I think that's the only way it will really stop. Both parties. We had to stop playing any negative stuff about the other person. So, Sister T, I know you make a banging ass song, but you will have to make another song and take him out of the equation. You can make a song of skinny, everybody else, but you will have to take Dandy out of the equation because we need this stuff to stop. And Dandy, you have to stop this stuff, brother. You have to stop making a video about this lady in there for a week. 
Dude, Kwame got so much good materials in now you can just you can use. It's so much good materials in that going on now uh, you could use. Dude, what happened to you, bro? Man, you your shit you like I said, I be mad at you. I'm the type of person. I ain't mad at you, mad at you like that. I'm mad at you because of the shit that you're doing. But I can be mad at I'll be mad at you and shit. I don't go on your channel no more because of I goes on your channel now. You ain't got nothing I wanna see. All you guys like Sister T this, Sister T that, Sister T this, Sister T that, or oh, Queen Regina this, Queen Regina that. It's like, there's so many stuff you used to post on your channel that I can just, I used to go on your channel and just watch your stuff for hours. I do that shit to casino stuff. I know, I know, I know all casino fucking whose story. Because I not watched it over like 10 times. The whole stuff. The whole whose story. I not watched it over 10 times. When I'm at work, put my headphones in my ear. And I'm just watching, I'm just listening to the whole story. Everybody be coming to me like, damn, what are you listening to? You listening to some music? Put it on the speaker. I ain't listening to no music. I'm listening to somebody talk. <laughs> it's like, and they be like, you just sit here and listen to this dude's name talk. Then I start playing the story too. They be, everybody start liking the story too. Like, oh, you gonna play that today? No, I'm putting my shit in my ear. So when I walk in the way, walking around, I can still have my shit. It's like Dan D, come on, man, brother, go back to you, go back to your shit. You beefing with a woman that ain't you, my nigga. That's skinny shit. Let's lead that shit to skinny. Let's lead that shit to the other bump ass niggas then on the other side. You know? Let's lead that shit to the bump ass niggas then on the other side. I know I said some shit about you and skinny. I ain't gonna take shit back. I'm the type of person. I ain't gonna take shit back. But shit, shit can change. I ain't gonna say shit else when you change your shit. But brother, let's do that shit, man. Let's get this shit to stop. We ain't got to wait until next year. We don't have to wait until next year because next year, I don't think this shit going to stop. I think we need to start putting stop to it right now. And it's going to take you, brother. It's going to take you as a man, my nigga. It's going to take you. Just do it one week. Don't talk about her. Don't talk about that. And I guarantee you, you go right back to being you. And let's see if Sister T can do the same. You know how she 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 in she initiated this. She started the whole stuff. Let's see if you can stop this whole stuff, brother. That's just my challenge to you. Peace out to everybody who listen, love, support, describe, everything. Peace.